Leading Dallas, Luka with 12. Ah, flipped it. Eyes in the back of his head to an open Tim Hardaway shoot. Hey guys, this is Dominique Wilkins. Hey, this is Sean Kepp. This is Gary Payton. Hey, this is Paul Gasol. NBA fans, what's up? This is Vince Carter here. Hey, what's up? This is Matt Barnes. If you're an old school NBA fan like I am, make sure you check out the basketball time machine with my man Sean Davis. Hey guys, how's it going? Welcome back to the basketball time machine. Let's talk some old school NBA basketball. A while ago, I posted a video about why old school fans love Giannis Antetokounmpo. And you guys seem to enjoy this video, so I thought, okay, I will give you another one. So in this video, I will show you reasons why old school fans love Luka Doncic. And don't worry, there's not going to be more videos like this. This is going to be the last one. But before we start, I want to ask you guys for a small favor. Not only subscribe to the channel, but if you want to support this channel in a different way, check out my fan merchandise if you want to have a basketball time machine t-shirt. Check below the video video there you will see many of my t-shirts anyway enough said now let's dive right into today's episode So how am I going to approach this video? I would say I will narrow it down to six different categories. So let's start with category number one. Yes, and the first category is the killer clutch moments. There are not many players that seem to be blessed with a so-called clutch gene, but Luka Doncic definitely has it. When this guy was 16 and still playing in Europe, he did not shy away from taking the last shot when the game was on the line. And now while he's playing in the NBA, even at a young age, he wants to have the ball when it matters. But it's not only his confidence, he's also making those shots. And this is a quality that we old school fans just love. Guys like Michael Jordan, Reggie Miller, Kobe Bryant and Larry Bird, some of the greatest players ever, always took the responsibility when it's crunch time. And now Luka Doncic slowly but surely is trying to follow in their footsteps. Hello switched on to Luka. Luka with the step back three. Oh yeah! Oh yeah! Doncic down to three seconds, two seconds. Doncic for the win. Oh yeah! Luka Doncic! And the next reason why old school fans love Luka Doncic is he's a willing passer. Now this one right here is something that matters a lot to me. When I was a kid I also played basketball and I was a point guard. And the first thing I learned was as a point guard you gotta make your teammates better and you gotta find them once they're open. Guys like Magic Johnson, John Stockton, Isaiah Thomas and all those guys were all players that could score but you could see in their style of play that they love to pass the basketball. In today's NBA you have many guys that average a lot of assists but it seems like passing is more of an obligation. For example James Harden. This guy has many assists but he passes to the open man not because he wants to but because he can not score in that particular play. And this is totally different with Luka Doncic. He's a willing passer and he can see that he loves to find the open teammate. This is something that especially us 80s and 90s fans grew up with and Get something that we right really enjoy. One six Friday night shooting the ball against Denver. Powell wide open lane coming over late. The Clippers, George rising. Luka rebounds the miss. Nice up over the top to Finney Smith running the floor and throwing it down. And the next reason that I have on my list is the basketball IQ. Now this is a very interesting one, because it seems that this category often gets overlooked. Basketball IQ is so important on a high level that you can easily say that the best players ever also have the highest basketball IQ. Guys like Larry Bird, Michael Jordan, John Stockton, Magic Johnson and you know the names. But in this case I want Chauncey Billups to take over. Chauncey, you've been saying it for a long time and early on that he was going to be special. What has it been that's made him that way? So many different things. I mean, the, the thing I like the most is his basketball IQ. Um, he cares about making players around him better. Most guys are so worried about making themselves better at that age and at that stage. But again, this guy's been playing professional since he was 13. And, and he's been taught the right way. And, and we're going to go right here. I'm going to show you some footwork. He has a great floater. But you watch him right here against the Clippers. Now, nobody really wants to play against Pat Beverly and 
Avery Bradley, but you watch them. They seemingly they have him bottled up right here. But as opposed to with the dribble, trying to create angles, he does it with his footwork. Triple threat, something that maybe some of these young guys don't know much about anymore, but opens up, gets to his right hand, and anytime he gets to that paint, it's a lob. And the next reasons why old school fans love Luka Doncic are his fundamentals and his footwork. Oh yes, a category that is beloved by old school fans, but also a category that is very important no matter on what level you play basketball. Luka Doncic learned to play basketball in Europe and it's a known fact that European players usually come to the NBA with great fundamentals because they're lacking in the athleticism. And Luka is no exception. He's not the most athletic player you will ever find in the NBA, but he makes up for it with his great fundamentals. Especially his footwork is very good. If you take a closer look at what he's able to do because of his great footwork, you will see that he's super clean and precise. When it comes to fundamentals and it's like you have two worlds, yeah. right? Yeah, it's, it's, it was two worlds before and it's back to two worlds. You had, you know, you had the white basketball player who didn't have any athleticism, mm -hmm. who was fundamentally sound. So that means he needed to learn his footworks to get by the really yeah, athletic, athletic guys. guys yeah. And then the European, the European, the Lucas and the baby Kane, the fundamentally sound player. So what ends up happening is Luca has the advantage over anyone who's guarding him because these guys are too athletic for this part of the game. Yes. For this part for of that the, part, the, yeah. The open court. Open court, yeah, you, you got him. Yeah. Half court, court where you have down. to be disciplined. Discipline. You never learned it. Talked about his footwork. This is Drew Holiday, another one of our better defenders in the game. He's sending him right. But watch with his footwork, without dribbling the ball, not wasting dribbles, opens up some angles right there. And the next category that I have on my list is the ball fakes. As an NBA fan of the 80s and 90s, I can say I love the ball fakes. No matter if it was Magic, Bird, MJ, they always fooled their opponents with beautiful ball fakes. And this is a kind of a lost art. Hardly any players use the ball fake in today's NBA. And here again, Luka is the exception. When he entered the NBA, he showed us some of the greatest ball fakes we have ever seen. And he shows us how effective they still are, making his opponents look pretty stupid. So in these regards, Luka is bringing back some old school flair. Once with a great pass, Luka wasn't in position to immediately pull the trigger, but now he does and it pays off with three the hard way. Minutes that he played against Brooklyn on Wednesday. Mass lost it, Luka got it back. Luka looking for an outlet and he fight DeAndre Jordan. Now with all the great stuff that we just have seen, let's hear what some of the greatest players of all time have to say about Luka Doncic. Dame Lillard and CJ McCollum mm -hmm. on there and he outscored them in the fourth. A team that's in the playoffs, that's playing well. This kid has all the... Listen, he made the statement that it's easier to score in the NBA than it is in Europe. Like, come on, this man, <laughs> his confidence is through the roof. This is everything. I love this kid. Love it. Uh, is Luka Doncic now a top 10 player in the league already? And what's the next element of his game that he needs to develop or improve? Ooh, that's a, that's a good one. Uh, if he's not top 10, I'm going to say he's top 12. And, and, and since Steph and Clay is out, I'm going to say Luka is top 10 right now. Ooh. Uh, and the reason why I would say that is, is because what he's how unique he is at the position, how big he is at the position, and what he's doing for the Dallas Mavericks. Luka, I'm gonna answer it a little bit more definitively. Luka Doncic is definitely top 10 in the league right now. When you look at what he's doing on a nightly basis as far as scoring the ball, rebounding, and passing, He's the triple threat, he has the size, and then with Steph and KD not playing this year, he's top 10 in the NBA this year. Now when those two guys come back, yeah, yeah, they, might, yeah. they might bump him out. He's, he's playing a space, amazing basketball. I mean, especially when you talk about how he's dominating the Clippers. He's dominating some of the best defensive players that we've ever seen in our game. When you talk about Kawhi, when you talk about Paul George, when you talk about what the Clippers have done as a team overall, I mean, his, his confidence level has shot up in this series, knowing that, you know, he's playing the number two seed in the West, uh, you can't tell by, by looking at it. I mean, to me, he looks like he's the best basketball player on the basketball court. But not only that, 
He's playing with the most confidence, and that's what's got the Dallas Mavericks in this series. All right, you guys, that was it for today's episode. I hope you enjoyed the content. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to the channel. And if you want to support this channel in a different way, please check out my fan merchandise. Get yourself a basketball time machine t-shirt. All right, see you next time. Bye-bye.